Foliage in here at Mimi's Bar and Grill. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we visit the New Orleans suburb of Chalmette, Louisiana to experience the great food at Mimi's Bar and Grill. They have fresh gulf fish, oysters, and plenty of other great New Orleans seafood and other traditional New Orleans food here. Mimi's Bar and Grill is located in Chalmette at 712 West Judge Perez Drive, which is about 7 miles and 15 minutes away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is the best restaurant experience I've had in a long time, and Mimi's Bar and Grill really over delivers in the food and service areas. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. Mimi's Bar and Grill opened up back in December of 2011, and while I've driven past this place many times, this is my first experience here. So the restaurant is divided up into two areas. So we've got sort of the main dining room area and bar area on the right side here. So they have a large bar space that's very comfortable and nice looking. And they have some good options for your adult beverages here. So certainly having a little time cozied up at the bar is a pleasant place to be here to pass a good time. So, I will be having a little fun time at this bar later in this episode to enjoy some of their great oyster specials here. They certainly have some great char-grilled and raw oysters. Now we also have the left-hand side. So, there's a whole nother dining room in this area, and they seem to open this one up at night, and it's usually not open during lunchtime. They have another bar that's smaller in this section, and this is where their main kitchen is as well. So, you've got this tinier little bar here that can be a good little space if you don't want the crowdedness of the larger bar. So, this is a kind of a nice little area here to hang out. And you can see they've got a totally kind of different vibe in this area than they do on the other side. But let's go ahead and take a look at the menu now. So, we have appetizers with Southwest egg rolls, garlic bread, grilled andouille sausage, Seared yellowfin tuna, spinach and artichoke dip, and barbecue shrimp. Then we have Mimi's Specialty Oysters with Char Grill, Bangkok, Rockefeller, Bacon and Blue Cheese, and Raw Oysters. Then we have soups, Soup of the Day, and French Onion. Then we have salads with an Iceberg Wedge, Caesar Salad, California Club Salad, Mimi's House Salad. Then we have sandwiches with Roasted Turkey Club, Roast Beef Po' Boy, Fried Shrimp Po' Boy, Double Cheeseburger, Penne Veal Cutlet Po' Boy, Chicken Parmesan Po' Boy. Then we have Mimi's Favorites with Crab Cakes, Filet Tips, Mimi's Petit Filet, Pasta Lafitte, Seafood Plate. Then we have Sides with Garlic Mashed Potatoes, Hand Cut Garlic Fries, Loaded Mashed Potatoes, and Grilled Asparagus. We also have a selection of specialty drinks with Mimi's Margarita, Mimi Tina, Lemon Drop Martini, Apple Teeny, Cosmopolitan, Tropical Breeze, Bloody Mary, Mimi's Hurricane, Chocolatini, Mimi's White Russian. The service here was absolutely outstanding and they recommended we go with their three course lunch special, which today started out with this amazing crab artichoke soup. The soup had an amazing aroma. It really looks fantastic. Look at all this crab meat in there. Oh, here we go. Oh, the flavor is just wonderful. It's creamy. It's full of crab. There's pieces of artichoke in there that are nice and tender. This really is a wonderful, delicious soup. It's just a treat to eat. And this is not the most common soup to find in the New Orleans area, but wow, this is certainly one wonderful and delicious soup and each and every bite is just full of flavor. It's got some wonderful spices going on inside of it. It really is just a wonderful all around amazing starter to this meal. Oh my goodness. This is certainly a pleasant experience and I just really am blown away at how wonderful the service has been up to this point. 
Uh, I would say the service here is better than any of the fine dining restaurants that I've been to over the past couple of years, as the pandemic situation really hit the service industry hard. So I'm glad they still have amazing service here. So just like I've totally destroyed this suit, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this amazing suit. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. For the next course, there was a choice of filet tips pasta, which my dining companion got, or the mahi mahi, which I selected. Whoa, these things smell amazing. Let's dig in. Look at this beautiful filet of mahi mahi. Wow. This is a beautiful piece of fish with some wonderful aromas coming off of it, so let's give it a taste. Oh my goodness, this is such a wonderfully prepared fish. It's juicy, flavorful. This is the best mahi mahi I think I've ever had. It is just so full of flavor. So many other places overcook it. It's often tough and dry with not a lot of juicy, delicious flavors like this one has. Let's try these vegetables and these veggies are also wonderfully cooked. They have some good herbs and spices of them. They're plenty, plenty flavorful. This is an extremely pleasant lunch entree, I have to say. This is exactly what I needed. It's nice and healthy while just somehow also being chock full of great flavors. They really hit all the main points that you want to see in a wonderful dish like this for lunch. Every bite of this fish is wonderful, flaky, and full of juiciness and flavor. I don't know how they've managed to do this fish so wonderfully. They've got a nice little sear on the outside, and the interior is just so amazing. It's just absolutely perfectly cooked. There's some hints of citrus in the fish, and I think it might have been marinated, which could be adding to some of the delicious flavors going on. And all of these vegetables are also very nicely cooked and just really complement the flavors of the fish. So the vegetables are crunchy crust. They're not overcooked at all, so it all goes very well together. And mmm, this fish is so pleasant to eat and wonderful. And then we have some squash and some broccoli and some carrots and zucchini that are all just very flavorful combined that just go together for such a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I'm getting a little sad here. Uh-oh, this might be my last piece of fish. Oh no, I've enjoyed this so much. This has just really been a pleasant experience that I would like to repeat many more times. I wish everybody could cook fish as well as this one was prepared. And these vegetables are also quite nicely done as well. So I don't have any complaints about any component on this plate of food. So my kudos to the chef today. I am very thoroughly happy and pleased. And if I could have something like this for lunch every day, I would be very happy. So this is sort of my ideal lunch experience. I love a nice grilled piece of fish with some vegetables. I mean, if I were gonna go crazy and really wish for something, maybe some greens of some type on the side as well to totally blow me away. But I'm already blown away pretty much to the maximum. Oh, I've only got one bite left now. So just like I totally destroyed this fish and the vegetables, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this delicious plate of food. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. As I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Now it's time to move to the third course. And it's this amazing looking red velvet cake with a raspberry sauce. Whoa, look at this thing. Oh, this is quite a nice looking dessert. Oh my goodness. So, a wonderful end to the three course experience here. I definitely want to come back for more lunches like this. I have to say, for the quality of the food, the wonderful service, and the fantastic value of this lunch special, this just probably is the overall best lunch in the entire USA these days. Whoa, here we go. Let's take another delicious bite of this red velvet cake and it is wonderful. That raspberry sauce on it really kicks it up to another notch. 
it's like, ooh, there's all these great flavors of a normal red velvet cake, and then the raspberry flavor just really goes along so well with this thing. So this is a pretty simple dessert overall, but it really has been a wonderful experience. Now here goes my last bite. But hold on now, I refuse to quit so early. There's way more deliciousness here I'm gonna scrape up. I don't wanna waste any of this wonderfulness. I want this meal to last as long as possible. Now, just like I totally destroyed this cake, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this meal. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total for two people before tip was $34.91, which was a fantastic value for such a wonderful meal. After my fantastic lunch experience, I returned for their oyster happy hour where they had $12 for a dozen raw or $14 for char grilled. So I had to grab an adult beverage and let's get ready for an oyster feast. Prost! There's nothing quite as delicious as some great oysters with some great beer. We also got some delicious garlic French bread here. And whoa, ho, ho, look at these lovely raw oysters. These are really nice and big. Look at these things. Oh, yeah. Ooh, mm, look what a beautiful oyster that is. Oh, yeah. So we used to have 25 cent oysters at happy hour not that long ago. Now we're lucky to find the dollar ones these days. So they're still delicious, they're wonderful. They have a nice salty flavor to them. They're just very, very nice. They have just very good texture. It's firm, meaty, with that little crisp saltiness to it. And every one of these oysters is fantastic. So just like I've totally destroyed these raw oysters, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about these raw oysters. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. I appreciate any help with that. Next, it's time for char-grilled oysters. Look at this beautiful sizzling here. I wish you could smell the wonderful buttery, garlicky aroma coming off of these char-grilled oysters. Ooh, let's give it a taste. Oh my goodness, it's just dripping with buttery goodness. Oh yeah, and ah, this is just, wonderfully full of garlicky goodness with the oyster goodness all combined. These are really delicious char-grilled oysters. They are full of flavor. They're not in any way dry. And of course, you gotta use your garlic buttered French bread to soak up more garlicky buttery goodness here because we don't want any of that deliciousness to go to waste. So, mmm. So, you definitely have to make good use of all your buttery deliciousness and not waste any of it. So make sure you got plenty of bread. Look at this big, huge oyster here. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is a nice size one, definitely. And oh, wonderful flavor. Now we've got to get a little more of our special bread technique here. Look at all this good stuff we've got. We don't want to waste any of this magical juiciness, deliciousness with the oyster flavor, the garlic flavor, and the butter flavor that's all soaked into these oyster shells. Oh yeah, look at this perfection of the bread there. This is definitely the best way to eat bread. So just like I've totally destroyed these charcoal oysters, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, Comment below, let me know what you thought about these charcoal oysters. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. You might have thought we were done, but oh no. Next, we're gonna have crab cakes and some sweet potatoes. Oh, look at these beautiful crab cakes. So, mmm, all right. They seem to be mostly crab meat. And they've got a nice little flavor here. Mmm, good and crunchy on the outside. A little nice softness on the inside. It's uh, crab flavors throughout. It's not spicy too much, so we'll put a little of this rumelade sauce on it. Kick it up just a tad bit. Let's see how this goes together. And give it a little more extra kick. Oh, all right. It's piping hot, but ooh, yeah, that rumelade sauce really does help make it a little more tasty there. 
So it's just your kind of basic crab cake with mostly crab meat, not a whole lot of breading. And then the rumelade sauce really adds to that sweet crab flavor that the crab naturally has. So this is a good balanced uh, crab cake mix with the rumelade just making it that much better. Now these sweet potatoes look very nice. Let's give these a good little flavor test here. Oh, so very nice sweet potatoes. They're uh, certainly just nice and basic. And now we've got one bite left of this crab cake and it's going down quick and easy. So oh, overall a good crab cake. And then of course some good plain sweet potatoes here. So nothing all that unordinary in any way, but just good basic staples. So just like I've destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about the crab cake and the sweet potatoes. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account as I do work for tips. I'd appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived on the total before tip was $60.14. So definitely more expensive than our awesome lunch special experience. So thanks so much to everybody at Mimi's Bar and Grill in Chalmette for some amazing service and fantastic food. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would just so kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.